Hey there, student courtside fans. How are you guys doing? It is the start of college basketball season. If you have not, go check out our uh, most recent podcast on Simp Court Side. We recorded it last night, posted it today. It gives you a full breakdown of the entire college basketball season. Also tells you how we'll be putting out podcasts this year. And also it'll give you some uh, predictions on the season, on the player props, and other stuff like that. And it talks a lot about uh, Indiana teams too, because we know a lot of our followers here, live here in Indiana. That being said, a quick summary of how you're going to get our picks. Me and Jordan still going to go against each other, just like we have the first two seasons. Yes, we're on a third season now, um, but only we're going to be getting your picks nightly, either through video, through tweets, or on the blog. So make sure you follow us. He's at Joey Overs. I'm at Kyle Cliffy. And of course, we'll always have our post um, at our uh, podcast uh, Twitter, which is at Courtside Sitton. So, yes, we're going to be giving you picks in a little different area, but they'll give you more uh, of a spread. So we'll actually get you legit spreads instead of just projecting out the whole week's games. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive on in. This season, I'm not going to give as much volume. I'm obviously still going to pick plenty of picks throughout the entire season, but I'm going to really try to focus in, maybe go with less quantity, more quality picks. So tonight I have four picks for you, we're starting off with Kentucky to minus seven in the Champions Classic. That's a lot of points to give up early in the season, especially with Kentucky. Usually that's a very uh, young team, but actually this year they have three seniors in their starting lineup, and Oscar Toshiboy is back tonight. He had a huge game last year in this match, in this uh, Champions Classic. I think he has a statement game again tonight. I'm laying the seven with Kentucky. Next up, St. Louis minus three. They have an elite point guard and a, an elite rebounding center. Their point guard, 27 assists, zero turnovers through two games, and their center leads the league in uh, defensive rebounding right now. They're going to be a tough out all year, and I think, honestly, we're going to be betting them a lot. I like them this year in the A-10 to, to finish high up there. We might even see them come March. Next up, Temple minus three. So you're going to have to buy a half a point, or if not a point here, to get it to that minus three. I got it at minus 130 here. I think you you want to keep it just at the one possession, just in case it gets close late. But they have a big three, and they have a guy averaging 25 points per game. I think this is a tournament-bound team if everybody stays healthy. On the other hand, they're playing against Vanderbilt. This is not a tournament team. Their offense is one of the worst we've seen so far this season. So I'm laying the three with Temple. And then, of course, it's it's opening night with the big games here in college basketball champions classic. You know I'm going with Duke. I'm going to go with Duke. Money line, that's minus 130 on most books. But if you if you do it on DraftKings, um, there's a boost. So that's where I bet. So I'm going to go with the money line so we avoid that minus two, minus one, where we might not win or get a push. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do it with plus 115 odds, minus 130 at most books. They're 4-1 in their last five games in this Champions League Classic. They usually play really well. The only time they did not win in this in the last five years was that COVID season. There was no fans. They actually played it not at a neutral site. So I think Duke, they knock off the defending champions. Yes, they're not full strength. Duke isn't, but they played really well so far this season. They usually get up in this uh, Champions League Classic, so I like it. All right, there we go. We got four picks for tonight. We'll be coming at you nightly. Me and Jordan will be posting picks. Whenever there's a slate that we really feel like we have good picks, most of the time it'll be nightly, especially once we get into uh, the heart of the college basketball season. But just check our Twitter, check our blog. You'll be able to find all of our picks. We'll keep our records there. We'll be going head-to-head -head just like we normally do, just not on the podcast. Again, listen to our podcast though, so you get a full breakdown of not only how we'll be putting out podcasts this year, but also our season-long preview. Again, that was... We just posted that today. Go check it out at sitting or we're at courtside sitting on Twitter. You can always find us on anywhere you get podcasts at sitting courtside and we'll talk to you soon.